What is up everybody? My name is Eric Valdez and I am back with another YouTube video. In this video, I want to discuss the Levi Denim's history, talk about my personal collection, and how I'll be styling the Levi Denim's. In conclusion, this video is everything you need to know about the Levi Denim's. With all that being said, let's hop straight into the Levi Denim's history. When speaking on Levi's, it is important to remember the name Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss was born in Germany and moved to New York but was led out west to San Francisco and sold dry good products to gold miners and small retail stores in the west. He later teamed up with a tailor from Reno, Nevada named Jacob Davis to create a patent workwear of brown cotton duck and blue denim while adding copper rivets for denims to hold up longer. Levi's was founded in 1853 and started selling these jeans to miners making their way up north during the gold rush. Denim and brown cotton duck held a very fair for the gold mining industry and various working conditions. In conclusion, denim was a revolutionary fabric that held great value. Throughout the decades, the Levi Company progressed and sought out a very innovative path and slowly became a staple in America's fashion scene. Levi's has made countless pairs of denim jeans, each different in their own ways. From the regular tab to the orange tab to the 501s to the 511s and 550s, the countless styles for everyone who has a subtle difference in preference, making this one of my favorite brands when it comes to denim clothing. I have here many different versions of the Levi denims, so let's get into these and explain the different fit of these and how to style them. Okay guys, so here as you guys can see, I do have the 550s. These of course are the, is it going to zoom in maybe? These are the relaxed fit. These are personally one of my favorite pair of jeans due to how they sit on um, footwear. They fit very well, and I heard that they're very similar to the iconic 501 Levi's, of course, that everyone knows about. This is a light wash denim, and this is one of my favorite pairs because um, they have a loose fit on the leg. Um, and I think that's always good for me. I personally don't like tight jeans, so the 550s always makes a cut for me, and which is one of the biggest reasons why it stays in my wardrobe all year around. Let's hop into the other one. For my next pair of denim jeans, I do have the regular fit 505 jeans. Honestly, one of my favorite ones, and it was actually one of the first pair of Levi's I picked up. Obviously, with the 505s, you do have a looser fit on the thigh, but once you get past that knee area, at least for me, it seems like a more tighter fit, which is one of the biggest reasons why I had to distress these because I really wanted them to fit better with my Doc Martens. And distressing these not only allowed them to open up and sit better with my Doc Martens, but I think that the look has a more complete um, distress and I actually enjoy it more. And kind of on the front, I sanded it out a bit just so it would give it a little bit more taste and it's kind of the wave that I've been riding lately is the distress look. I think it's a nice, cool thing and it just fits well in my wardrobe. And this jean has become a staple in my wardrobe because of that. Um, with all that being said, let's hop into the next pair of denims. Okay guys, before I explain these Levi denims, let's talk about why this has an orange tag and what it really means. Um, obviously, the orange tag on the Levi Denims is different from the red, the, uh, the white, and all the other um, tabs that they have. So, I have two pairs here in hand that I've picked up. Um, and I got these for a pretty good price. Obviously, I, I bought these at Goodwill, and I bought these, uh, I think, also at Goodwill, or a different consignment shop here um, at a local consignment shop, secondhand thrift store. So, the Orange Tab Levi's all started in the 1960s. Um, Levi's wanted to experiment with other kind of Levi's um, and wanted to push away from the standard uh, 501s. Uh, it was kind of the birth of their fashion denim and the design team of Levi really got to experiment with um, just a bunch of different things. And I personally like it because I think, I mean, you see an orange tag on Levi, I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. I love the color and I'm hoping to pick up a little bit more. And the quality is really, really good as well. Obviously, I kind of just have these. These are the 
550 orange tags. I kind of just have these because of the aura. Not really because they fit me, but I'll probably be selling these soon. And with these, I really do not know what kind of Levi's they are. There is, this tag just has the sizing and it says nothing about what kind they are. And obviously you don't have the back um, tab back here either. And then you do have the orange Levi's tag. If anyone knows how I could find out what they are, please let me know. These personally fit super well on me. Probably one of my, probably one of my favorite jeans in my wardrobe because like the quality is so nice and I just love black denim. I think it looks very nice and black is obviously one of my favorite colors. A lot of people don't even consider it a color, but probably my favorite denim. With all that being said, let's hop into the last two denim shorts. Here in hand, I just bought these last week. I have the 469. Um, I love the length of these. I like how they're a little bit longer and I love the fit of these shorts. I mean, they're just perfect. Obviously a light wash denim and they just fit perfect and I'm really excited to wear them. Obviously we're going into winter. So um, I'm going to have to wait on that unless we get some warm days, but I picked them up for, uh, I think it was 50% off. So I just couldn't pass up on them. And I've really liked the denim shorts as of late here. I do have another pair. This pair is different because obviously I think these are the 504 or 559 sorry and then they are a regular fit but with these obviously they were jeans and my girlfriend Lauren uh, she was cutting some of her jeans making them some denim shorts and she told me I should try it out and this was the first pair that I tried out and I just ended up loving them I really love the color of this denim it's almost has like a yellow shade tint to it um making it one of my favorite denim shorts to wear i guess i only have about three pairs but this one definitely has a special place in my heart with all that being said let's hop into my last denim piece okay guys i am standing up for my last piece to show you it is a levi denim jean jacket a very versatile and sophisticated piece that i think is going to go very well with my wardrobe as i just picked this up a couple weeks ago i don't think this is a um, iconic style because of the tag that it has it's obviously different from the other ones that i've seen it does have obviously the red levi's tag and it does have some wear and tear which i'm really glad um that it does because i think these look better as time goes on and the more wear that you put into them with all that being said guys i'm going to throw on some outfits with these various denim jeans and let me know how you guys feel about them Starting off with the Levi 550 denims, I have paired it with an Acorn Bluff Farms trucker hat, an olive green Carhartt button up, and of course the AOD Timberland loafers. I have always been a fan of experimenting with these jeans, and I think they just sit very well with these loafers, making me love this look. Moving along to the Levi 505s, I am of course accompanied by my dog L. Starting off with a top piece, I do have a cashmere v-neck from Eddie Bauer and of course the Doc Martin highs. I really love the way these Levi 505s that are distressed sit on these boots. Starting off with my next outfit, I do have on top the Levi denim jean jacket paired with my orange tab Levi's and some vintage leather zip up boots. These jeans fit me great and I think the boots and the jean jacket just adds the finishing touch to it. Moving on to the next outfit for the Levi's 469 denim shorts. I do have a Arcteryx beanie on top, a vintage Eddie Bauer fleece, my Levi denim shorts, some stance socks and the Solomon XT6s. I love the way that this looks. For my last outfit, it is very similar to the last. With the Levi 569 denim shorts, I have paired an Eddie Bauer zip up along with some Solomons on feet. The distressing on these shorts always gets the job done for me as someone who loves the outdoors. Let me know what you guys think about these outfits down in the comment section. As I conclude this video, I wanted to take a brief moment to discuss on what Levi brings. 
Whether you're on a farm working or you're taking outfit pictures every day, Levi's contributes to one's needs. Whether you're buying these for $75 online or $5 at your local thrift store, Levi's being affordable gives you a trial and error phase. This trial and error phase really allows you to explore many options and see what fits you and your style. With all that being said, I think this is a good stopping point. And if you like this video, subscribe down below and tune into the next video.